Have you ever woken up and found yourself completely unable to move? Your eyes wide open, but your body frozen like stone. You try to scream, but no sound comes out. And worse, you feel a dark presence in the room. Sometimes, sitting right on your chest, a heavy pressure, a shadowy figure, watching you, crushing you. No, this isn't a horror movie. This is real. And it's called sleep paralysis. Across cultures, across continents, people have described the exact same terrifying experience. In India, it's the Chudale, a witch sitting on your chest. In Japan, it's called Kanashibari, bound by a ghost. In Newfoundland, they call it the Old Hag. In Africa, it's blamed on evil spirits or curses. And in Western culture, it's often described as alien abduction. But what really is happening to us? According to neuroscientists and sleep experts, sleep paralysis is a very real condition. It happens during the transition between sleep and wakefulness. When your body is still in REM sleep, but your brain begins to wake up. In REM sleep, your body is paralyzed by design. So you don't act out your dreams. But in sleep paralysis, the system glitches. Your brain wakes up, but your body stays frozen. You become aware, but you're still dreaming. The result? A waking nightmare. Your mind fills in the gaps, and it often does so with fear. Your brain, still half dreaming, creates hallucinations. And those hallucinations often take terrifying shapes. Shadow figures, demons, ghosts, and yes, something sitting on your chest, crushing the air out of you. This is called a hypnagogic hallucination, and it feels horrifyingly real. You're not crazy. You're not haunted. You're experiencing a neurological phenomenon, one that's been misunderstood for centuries. But why do so many people across the world describe the same thing? Why does the ghost always sit on the chest? Why the pressure? Why the shadows? Science has some answers, but it doesn't explain why the same nightmare haunts people across languages, beliefs, and generations. Is it a biological glitch? Or are we tapping into something older? In ancient times, it was believed that these episodes were caused by demons stealing your soul. That your spirit was caught between life and death. Even today, some cultures still perform rituals to protect sleepers from the night visitor. And here's a strange fact. People who sleep on their back are far more likely to experience it. Coincidence? Stress, sleep deprivation, trauma, even jet lag, all of these increase the chances. But even the most peaceful person can wake up one night and find a shadow perched on their chest. It's real, it's terrifying, and worst of all, you can't move, you can't scream, you just wait until it lets you go. If you've ever experienced it, you're not alone, and it doesn't mean something is wrong with you. Doctors recommend improving your sleep schedule, Avoiding sleeping on your back, managing stress, practicing mindfulness before bed. Because even though it feels supernatural, this ghost lives in your brain. So the next time you wake up in the dark, unable to move, feeling a presence close by, don't be afraid. Remember, it's your mind playing the oldest trick in the book. But hey, what if it isn't? This is Do You Know? Dash where mystery meets science, and your nightmares get just a little more real. Subscribe for more strange truths, facts you've never heard, and the mysteries that keep you up at night.